Do you have acne looking bumps on your skin? Are they on the areas where you sweat the most? Have you tried many acne products with no success? Are they itchy? My friend, you might have fungal acne. Hello everyone, welcome to Joanna Will Say. And today I'm going to share about what I've learned and my experience when I had this condition known as fungal acne. It is an acne-like breakout accompanied with itchiness that are mostly on the areas where you sweat the most, like your forehead, your neck, your chest, or even your back. It is often misdiagnosed as a normal acne, which is why the typical acne medications doesn't work. This is a fungus-causing breakout called PT rosperum folliculitis, also known as Malassezia folliculitis. Malassezia is a healthy bacteria that naturally lives on our skin and it grows on human skin's oil, which is why it loves sweat, it loves oil, at the same time, it also loves the hot and humid weather, which makes it common to places like the Philippines. The best way to really know if you have fungal acne is to get proper diagnosis by a dermatologist. But if you think you have it, then you have to avoid what feeds it. There are a lot of products that contain ingredients that can be food to the malassezia, I'm going to read on my notes what are these ingredients and you will find out that these ingredients are common in your products. First are fatty acids and oils, yeast fermented ingredients, these are the ones that you can mostly find in your essences, coconut oil, glycerin, polysorbates, Fatty alcohols like citrile alcohol, esters. Esters are a combination of fatty acid and alcohol or glycerin. Now, normally, these are the ingredients that ends in A-T-E. So if you see an ingredient that has A-T-E in the end, this is most likely an ester, like isopropyl palmitate, linolate, these are esters. Um, these are ester ingredients. Well, not all esters are fungal acne triggers, or not all esters can be a food to the fungal acne. However, if you have this condition, I would suggest that it is best to just to avoid them to be safer. There are also skin-like ingredients that may or may not. Um, worsen the fungal acne and these are cholesterol, phospholipids, ceramides, squalene, not squalane, okay? It's squalene. Now, this, this may or may not be a problem, but it is best just to avoid this ones as well. I mentioned a while ago that oils are not safe for fungal acne, but there are three different kinds of oils that can be used if you have this condition, and that is MCT oil, mineral oil, and squalane oil. So these are only the three oils that can be used if you are experiencing this fungal acne. This ketoconazole and zinc pyrithione, these ingredients can be found usually in a dandruff shampoo like Nizoral or I think Head and Shoulders do have it. 
and these two ingredients can fight this um, fungus then we also have azelaic acid benzoyl peroxide green tea extract honey or propolis probiotics propylene glycol bha like salicylic acid and then we also have sulfur tea tree oil and urea so these are the different ingredients that you can use to fight these stubborn annoying and itchy fungal acne i'm going to show you what were the products that i was using when i had fungal acne now you don't have to buy all of these products what i do suggest is for you to look for the ingredients that are treatments for this fungal acne and just avoid the ingredients that can be a food to the malassezia. I'm just going to give you guys an overview of the products that I'm using. The first one that I use is a dandruff shampoo. This is Nizerol. It does have keti keticonazole. And as we've learned earlier, this one helps fight the malassezia. So what I do with it is every other day, I would leave it on the areas where I had the fungal acne for about 10 minutes and then I would rinse it off. If you are someone who uses a toner, then you can go for this one. This is from Etude House. This is from Etude House. I'm not, I don't think it's showing properly, but this is from Etude House, Sunjung PH 5.5 Relief Toner. This is a hydrating toner, and also it does have minimal ingredients, which makes it also safe for those who have sensitive skin. This is Cosarex BHA Blackhead Power Liquid. Well, I was using this on the areas where I had the fungal acne I use it as a spot treatment so I leave it on every night if you are someone who would like to use a serum this is what I was using this is also from Cosr X it's the propolis light ampule as you can see I already finished the product this is my go-to moisturizer on summertime because it's very light um, for someone who has oily skin like me, then every summer it's really difficult to use moisturizer. But with this one, it's a light moisturizer. And if you have fungal acne, you can, you can use this. It's safe. Even though you have fungal acne, please do use a sunscreen every single day. There are fungal acne safe sunscreens out there. This is what I was using before. This is a Japanese brand. It's Dior. However, I learned that um, since last year, they have reformulated the product and it is no longer fungal acne safe. Well, you can try using this one. This is from Face Republic. And I've learned that this is fungal acne safe, so you can try this one out and see if you would like it. There is this article that I used way back then when I had fungal acne. I used this as a guide and this is a well-researched article. It has everything and anything that you need to know about um, fungal acne and what's the, also the good thing about it is it has a list of about 1,500 different fungal acne safe products that you can use. And if you would like to go to that article and check it out, that is linked in the description box below. You can go to it after watching my video. There is also a website that I normally use when I research a product. It's called skincharisma.com. You can also go to this website and type in the product and you will see the full list of ingredients and it will also tell you on the notes if it's fungal acne trigger.
If you've reached this point of the video, thank you so much for sticking with me. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell to get updates on my channel. And if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and share it to someone who might need this information. Thank you so much for watching. Eat healthy, stay happy, and take care.